Hey everybody, how's it going? I wanted to shoot this super quick training for you guys because when I posted it on uh, in the group, everybody kind of went crazy for it. So this one is all about how we can get your team to build your business without raises, without bonuses, without any of that funky stuff. How do you get your team to build your business for you? That's the question. So um, I struggled with this for a long time. I was like, no matter what I do, no one is going to care as much as I do. No one's going to work as hard as I do. No one, you know, it's just, it's just impossible because I'm an owner and they're not. And that's just how it is. But the truth is, I just had the wrong people. Now, having said that, um, you know, this isn't a uh, training on how to do hiring or anything like that. I've got plenty of those. Uh, but at the end of the day, I realized that part of it was I didn't have the right people. And so here's the caveat. If you have the right people, anything is possible. And I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. So let me pull up my first demonstration. This is the weirdest thing because I actually did this with a client the other day and we were talking about, Hey, you know what? My food costs are too high. My labor costs are too high. It's just not, you know, working out. And no matter what I do, my team just won't seem to improve. You know, I tell them a hundred times, my, I tell my managers and nothing ever improves. And so I kind of asked them, I'm like, Hey, well, does your team know what your goals are? And he's like, well, no, I just tell them to, you know, not over portion or to waste less and stuff like that. I'm like, okay. But like, do they actually know? what your goal is. And they said, well, no, they don't. I'm like, okay, so a third party is a big part of business right now. Obviously the whole landscape has changed and your scores aren't where you want them to be. Do they know what your scores are? And he's like, well, no, they, they don't. How would they know unless they went and looked? I'm like, okay. So really what you're telling me is that your team members aren't performing to expectations that they don't even know exist. So this is how we solve this. And we did this years ago. And it's been great ever since we actually printed off a big honking version of this thing. And we put it in our back room where everyone can see it. So everybody that walks in knows exactly where our sales are. They know what our sales targets are. And it wouldn't be a training if Flora didn't come in and join in here. Um, but realistically, we put our sales in there. We put our target sales. Uh, we put our labor goals in there. And obviously then we compare it with what we actually performed. But now that third party is such a huge piece of business now, we now focus on the digital aspects as well. So we literally write down for Skip the Dishes or Uber or DoorDash or whatever platforms you guys are using. Even our Google score goes there. This is our internal uh, loyalty program. So we literally measure this every single week. And so when we see it go up, when we see it go down, we just write a little arrow up and down. So literally our team knows what we're doing. And because we did this and we focused on it, one of my scores actually went down um, to a 6.7 skip score at one point. And then within three weeks, that was up to over nine. I think it was like 9.4 or something like that after they had just worked on it. Literally, this is what we did. We tracked it and we let them know that we were tracking it and what they could do to improve. And literally within a few weeks, it was like magic things started happening. Same thing for food, same thing for labor. When they know what the goals are, they want to meet them. I have team members who don't get any bonuses at all, and they are super stoked when our sales go up. If we have a sales goal of whatever it is per week, when we hit it, they're excited. We even have people that are saying, hey, you know what? You better upsell tonight because we got to hit that goal. We need to do X amount today. And you guys are probably hearing this being like, no, this, there's no way that that's possible. No one cares that much. I will say when you have the right people, anything is possible. They are actually motivated by doing things well, doing things good by doing the right thing. So uh, number one is tracking it. People can never meet goals if you don't set them and you don't let them know what they are. So that's number one. So my number one trick here track it, let them know what it is. And, you know, obviously celebrate it, give them high fives, have some fun with it when they win. Now I'm going to show you the next piece here. So let me just flip over here. So this one, uh, hopefully you guys can, uh, can see this one. I'm just going to double check to make sure I shared the right thing. Um, so yeah, so this one, is a little organization chart. And we laminate this and we literally divide our organization by, we have, you know, there's me up here as an owner, then we've got our regional manager, then there's a manager, and then there's what we call crew coaches or supervisors here. And then each of them have little teams. So each person has two to four people on their team. The reason this is important, number one, in a bigger context, is because 
we don't feel that one person can manage 12 to 15 people. We know that on average, you can manage two to five people effectively, anything more than that, and you don't give them enough attention, you don't have enough of a relationship, it becomes more difficult to manage. So that's why we created a team structure. Now, how this relates to incentivizing your team to build your business is what we do is we do competitions. And this might seem like, well, that's not a new idea, Andrew. Like, why, why is that important? But here's what we do. A lot of places will do competitions. Whoever can sell the most of this product or whoever does this will get employee of the month or whatever the case is. But what I did differently here is that like I got frustrated because those competitions, if only one person could win, say you were in like the bottom of the pack or you were in the bottom two thirds, even you're going to be like, I'm not going to try anymore. There's no way I can win. Why would I want to do that? If you're like, you know, 10, 10th in place, like you're not going to care. Right. However, if we have a team of people and you are responsible to do certain things, because you have team members that are counting on you, that's a whole different level of accountability. And then your team members get on each other and say, hey, you know what? We got to make sure we do this tonight. We got to do that. And so what I do here is I basically offer, um, you know, say we're trying to promote, you know, an, an upsell. Maybe that's a double meet in, in my um, case, or maybe we're trying to cross sell a different product line. Maybe it's a smoothie or, you know, whatever the case is, we will come up with an incentive. So either it's going to be like, like, you know, the customer gets a discount on this to try it, or maybe they take a coupon as a bounce back. So we give it to them after they've purchased and they can redeem that on their next visit. So not only does it improve your average ticket, get them to try a new product line, but it also increases your visit frequency. So maybe they're going to come back twice a month instead of once a month or whatever the case is. So we do that and then we structure it by teams. So if there's coupons, we literally have the supervisor's initials on each of the coupons and they're responsible for getting them out. And when they come back, we track who's in the lead. So every week we're like, okay, team A is pulling ahead. Team B is a little bit behind. And then everyone starts having like these little mini competitions with each other. And at the end of the day, they're doing that to promote your business. We usually offer some sort of a prize, but to be honest, it's like $25, um, you know, like in total, like we might buy some pizzas for people or, you know, well, literally it's 25 or $50, but then say when we were doing a double meat promotion per store, we were bringing an extra thousand or $2,000 in the upsells. So realistically the 25 or $50 is next to nothing as a small little prize. The prize isn't the point. The competition is the point. So when you get your team together and you inspire them and you put the right people in the right places and you have the right team, honestly, they will build your business without you having to do almost anything. And the best example I can give of this is we actually did a gift card competition that was done nationally through our franchise. And I did not say anything to any of our team. And, and that's a failure on my part is I didn't actually hold them accountable enough, but our managers took it upon themselves to set goals for their team. Like I had no part of this, the manager set goals. And then the supervisors even went to the level of mapping out how many gift cards they had to sell every single day. And then when they got behind one day, they add that total to the next day. And then every time someone came in, they were texting the people that were on shift. Hey, you got to make sure you sell $200 in gift cards tonight. You got to sell X amount tonight. Otherwise, you know, it might be slow tomorrow. So we got to think ahead. And literally they between the team held each other so accountable that one of my stores who had never done anything um, on a national scale before got number one in Canada, which was amazing. So national champions. And having said that out of my four stores, I believe that in my region, we actually took the top three spots and then the number five spot for my particular region in, uh, in Canada. So, you know, what I have to say is that if you have the right team, they will do almost anything. You just have to kind of set the stage, give them a little bit of push, give them goals to achieve, and they will often run with it if you have the right people in place. So that in two quick documents is basically how I incentivize my team to build my business, to drive more sales into my business without me barely having to do anything, without giving them raises, without giving them tons of bonuses, anything. Literally, they just do it because they like to do it and they're fiercely competitive and um, they get pride in the recognition that comes with it. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, just drop them in the chat 
below. So thank you so much. And if you have any ideas for the next training you'd like to see, drop them there too. All right. Later.